CIA. Okay, so this is adult, so it's a little longer. Eight minutes. Yeah. This is an eight minute. Gotcha, thank you. You got speed. Okay. So, Kevin, this was your second time working with Ron Howard. Talk about his approach to the film and what it was like working with him. Uh, you know, Ron is someone that approaches his films with a tremendous amount of energy and passion and excitement. The, the excitement that he shows about uh, having the opportunity to direct a film is contagious. Uh, it comes down from the top. You just get jazzed to be there, to be on the set, to be, uh, you know, working with this guy on this material. It was, it was a lot of fun. Now, you play Jack Brennan. Mm -hmm. Talk about how important he was um, to Nixon and to uh, securing this interview and setting the ground rules. Well, uh, Jack was a Marine who was stationed at uh, the White House when Nixon met him. Nixon took a liking to him, and um, I think he was... Nixon was kind of enamored with Marines. Uh, I think that he... He found the idea of someone who would be, you know, so physically trained and, um, uh, you know, that kind of warrior mentality to him was something that he really uh, appreciated and probably because he knew that he was not that kind of guy. You know, he was a very intellectual sort of man uh, and also was raised as a Quaker, which are, you know, they're raised to be nonviolent. Um, and uh, he left the White House and brought Jack with him to uh, San Clemente. And, you know, he kind of, Jack set up, you know, had an apartment near Nixon's house and uh, eventually left the Marine Corps to continue to be his chief of staff. But I think that the the essence, one of the, one of the things uh, that was really important to the character was that he was trained to, you know, put himself in harm's way in order to protect both his country and his commander-in-chief. So, Whatever aspects of Nixon that uh, were questionable politically or you know historically in terms of you know m mistruths, they were not that important to Jack. I mean, I think he was um, mostly focused on just you know standing by his man. Now he really wanted to protect and guard Nixon during this interview. Mm -hmm. um, talk about what his role as coach and you know. Uh, you know, in our little boxing motif here, mm -hmm. you know, trying to protect his uh, his uh, his guy. Well, I think that uh, you know Nixon had a, a team of um, writers, speech writers, and research people who were doing sort of like the uh, you know kind of the intellectual groundwork. And I think Jack's Jack's position, certainly as you see in the film, is 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 much more of you know. Uh, communicating with him, keeping him strong, keeping him focused, keeping him, um, um, you know, keeping him out swinging, you know, I mean, uh, bol bolstering his, his, uh, his own ego, which was, you know, in a lot of ways had been really crushed by this, this, um, you know, this thing that had happened, having to leave the White House and, uh, you know, the possibility of impeachment, you know, it was, he was, he was, joining a team at a guy when he was kind of at the lowest point in his life and uh, you know, had a, had a uh, felt he had a, a, a responsibility to um, uh, make him stronger. Now, I mean, the Nixon team really thought that Nixon would get like a big wet kiss from David Frost. Um, what, what were Jack Brennan's feelings about the interview and about David Frost? Jack Brennan actually did not feel that Frost would be a big wet kiss. He has said that, uh, that he was actually a, a bit more um, uh, challenged by the actual David Frost than is portrayed in the, in the movie. That's Jack's, that's Jack's you know, historical perspective on it. Wow, okay. Do you feel that we get to see another side of Nixon? Well, I think that, you know, he's one of those presidents that, um, has been, you know, certainly, you know, demonized and turned into sort of a caricature of, uh, you know, the sweating, you know, kind of boogeyman. I mean, all the impressions that have been done over him, about him through the years. And uh, another side to Nixon, I guess you see a lot of sides to him. I mean, I think that 
what you see is a, f a fully rounded human being as opposed to just you know kind of a you know lying you know kind of monster and that's that's a testament both to Peter's writing and Ron's direction and, and certainly Frank's performance.